uh, I grew up in Myanmar, in what used to be called Burma. And I lived there for 17 years until the Japanese got the British out of the country. We managed to escape with the Royal Air Force due to the brilliant thinking of my mother. Otherwise, we'd have been stuck there. And we lived in that country for about four generations. So really, I sometimes like to claim that I'm Burmese, which they won't acknowledge. How did I come to be a Canadian? I was in the Navy during the war. I started off as a midshipman. I wound up as a lieutenant. And at the end of the war, I came to Canada on a Canadian scholarship to go to McGill University, where I went for my studies. And then eventually I wound up at Cornell University for my PhD studies and then got a job and was very pleased to come back to Canada. Well, I was interested in natural history, plants, animals, insects, birds, whatever it is, all my life, ever since I was a boy. So I used to spend my time in Myanmar collecting snakes, or making collections of butterflies and beetles, and all that. I was a real old-fashioned naturalist. But always in my desk, I had books on biology. I, I read the naturalists, you know, Charles Darwin and Bates, a naturalist on the Amazon, and Belt, a naturalist in Nicaragua. And I wanted to be an explorer. So I went to the botanists, and the botanists were so, sort of clueless, to be honest with you. They had about 16 ways to discuss to describe the shape of a leaf or the hairiness of a leaf. But if you asked them what went on in a leaf, well, that's not important, that's not relevant really, you know. Uh, and I, I thought, well, maybe I should join this lot because maybe I could really learn something and can make a contribution, you know. And uh, I, I, think, I think that I did in the end. I started reading chemistry before I went to university and I, I really enjoyed it. It seemed so clever, you know, the, the way molecules are constructed and, and so on. I really enjoyed it. I had my own collection of books and I read these. And so when I came to university, I was prepared for, for this type of thing. And I want, then I realized I would like to learn about the mysteries of the chemicals in plants and insects and animals and so on. Not only the toxic chemicals, but the potentially useful ones. And so, that's, and I was encouraged by one, one of the professors in the botany department was interested in relating plants uh, based on their chemistry. And he was, he put in a rather romantic sort of way uh, the plants of this group are related to those and so on by their chemistry. And, and that got me fascinated. 